Welcome. I was recently chatting with uh, my friends over at Universal Audio, and uh, I was giving them a compliment on on several pieces of gear that uh, seem to be extremely closely matched by the plugins that they make. And um, we decided to kind of share this with you a little bit. In case you weren't paying attention, um, things got really, really good a few years back, and then they got even better. And now, uh, I'd say in the last two or three years, the tools we have are just unparalleled now. It's, it's uh, we've got, you know, tens and tens and tens of uh, dB of headroom, and we've got um, the tools like I'm gonna show you today that are so close to the original. In fact, um, if you go by convenience and go by uh, sheer numbers and, and the ease of use, they can be better, because sometimes creativity isn't just the piece of equipment you use, it's, it's you and your taste and the way you react to that equipment. Having said that, let me share a couple of pieces that I think uh, really closely um, mimic the originals. Here's a um, here's a, a a track by my friend uh, Eric Whitman and his brother. I apologize for not remembering his brother's name. These guys are incredible. They're from Sweden, and I love their stuff. In fact, get ready to hear this record when it comes out. I'll keep you posted on the show. Check this out. Here's. Um, Here's a, a bass without without any UAD plugins. Now let me let me stop you right here, guys. This isn't a tutorial. This isn't a review. This is just I'm sharing some plugins with you that I think are really close. So I want you to go to the Universal Audio website. They've got amazing tutorials on all this stuff. How do I know? Because I was just there today checking them out to make sure I didn't do anything silly for you guys. Now, that bass sounds, that sounds pretty amazing, so I, 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 I decided to put this uh, manly on it. Now, this really does come close. Check, check out what it's doing. <laughs> Can't beat that bottom end. But this is a little surprise for you I wanted to throw in. This is the 610 preamp. Now, you're saying, well, Dave, why would I put a preamp on something? because preamps give you an option to, to get saturation and other uh, uh, things like transformer sounds and, and, and preamps are, in, in the mix world, uh, they're rarely used to get color and saturation, but uh, I do it a lot. And I want, I want you to hear this. This is the 610, this thing's a legendary preamp. And by the way, you can access this in Unison technology. The Unison technology changes the, changes the physical characteristics of the gain staging and impedance of the preamps of your Apollo interface to make it sound and behave just like a vintage 610. You'll see a graphic with a couple of things that I use. Check this out before and after. Sounds good, doesn't it, BP? Uh, okay, now, I'm gonna take it all off. That's, that's, that's money in the bank. I'm gonna give you a little taste in the track. Oh man, come on, come on. All right, now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites now. Um, a parent shouldn't have favorites with their children's, but you know, did I just say children's? <laughs> Check this out. Here's a couple of guitar sounds. The level that that you hear in bypass is actually louder than the level you hear with with it un, out of bypass. Watch this. But but when the when the plug-in goes in. It sounds louder because we're adding we're adding the color from the from the preamp with a with all the transformers and the and the, and the uh, color from that and a little bit of EQ. So here again, um, you just can't beat that. Uh, let me put it back in the mix for you. Oh, threw that in for free. A little space echo. This is this is like 
This is a, a big sound of the 80s. Use it a lot. Now, the, the little brother over here is the um, um, is the 88 RS. I wasn't, I, have, I had not been using this a lot. A um, lot of buttons and knobs, which were kind of above my pay grade, but I highly recommend spending some time with this guy. Here again, we're adding a little color from the mic pre. Uh, the EQ section is amazing. I'm not gonna spend time to show you the gate, but this gate is world-class, guys. And uh, a little bit of compression, so check this out. <laughs> So I want you to check this out. I've got it set. Uh, I think I'm pretty close to, to. I'm telling you, uh, spend some time with this guy. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, that's about it for the guitars. Now, a uh, little bonus thing. By the way, uh, this sounds so much like the 88R. I mean, so much, so much. And you don't have to lug a big, like, several ton console around. Uh, I was thinking about it, about this Fairchild and, um, A lot of my friends, all my friends are mix engineers, sometimes just put this on something to, just to get the, the, the vibe and the color of the meters don't move much. So I wanted the synth part to sit in the track a little better. It's composed of, it's composed of three, three parts. I know I'm making you dizzy moving this plug-in around. Here we go. It, it rounds out the bottom and watch, watch, watch when we sit it in the track. Gets a little wider, um, does everything. And here again, this is, this is one of my favorite, favorite. I got the real one of this and this is pretty good too. <laughs> That's a bonus, another bonus for you. Check this out. A little bit of level gain there, but this guy, this guy with all four in, that was a lot of, a lot of people's secret weapons back in the day. Okay, guys, l let me sum this up. It really doesn't matter what the original sound likes, sounds like and what the plugin sounds like. What matters is what works, and these plugins just work. Are they close to the original? Absolutely. Some people say they're almost identical. So check these out, and... Um, you'll find a new set of tools that are gonna enhance what you do. Why would we care about these tools? Well, they have a history. They, they, they all have been used in a lot of great records and we know they work, they're tried and true. Check them out, bye-bye.